Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today we have a very special episode. It's our 100th episode and with us we have Dr. Rebecca Manning from NC Retina. Very glad you could join us. Thanks for having me Dr. Porter. Yeah, no problem. She's a retina specialist and today she's going to explain to us why it's so important for people with diabetes to get their eyes checked regularly. So please. Yeah, absolutely. It's really important for anyone with diabetes to have at least annual eye exams because the high blood sugars can damage the blood vessel walls in the retina, which can cause them to become weak and leak, as well as cause the far outside edges of the eye to lose blood flow. This can cause multiple problems inside the eye and important places in the eye that need to be found and treated early. So then, um, if they start getting into trouble from diabetes, uh, what kind of things can happen inside the eye? What can happen to the vision? So the most, um, most common cause of vision loss in diabetics is diabetic macular edema. That's when the blood is leaking into the center of the vision and cholesterol leaks out as well. And you can have vision loss as well as distorted vision. The other big problem that can happen in diabetes is the loss of blood flow to the outside edges of the eye can cause the inside, of the inside vision of the eye to create bad blood vessels. And those blood vessels are not helpful to the eye. In fact, they cause a lot of problems. And those problems include they can bleed, which can cause decreased vision or vision loss. And they can also create scar tissue, which can rip the retina off and create a retinal detachment, which can lead to permanent vision loss. I know with lots of patients with diabetes, we're really paying attention to their hemoglobin A1C. So that gives us an idea about how well controlled they can be. We like to see the number below seven, and usually with that, then we don't see much trouble or much trouble getting worse inside the eyes. Absolutely, I would say there's definitely a linear relationship between the hemoglobin A1C and how fast patients progress. And importantly as well as the blood pressure. High blood pressure can also lead to increased progression rates of diabetes. So That's you right. want to maintain your hemoglobin A1C as close to seven as possible, and as keep your blood pressure as healthy as possible as well. And so say patients do get trouble with the retina from diabetes, uh, what kind of treatment options do they have? So for diabetic macular edema, we have two main treatment options. The first one is the older way of treating, which is laser to the center of the vision. That can be a very good choice in some patients, but the newer, best option for most patients is injections of medicine into the eye. And those medicines cause the blood vessels to stop leaking and can restore the vision and keep them, more importantly, from continuing to lose vision. Mm -hmm. If bad blood vessels form, there's extensive laser that can happen to the outer edges of the eye, which can cause the blood vessels to go away. And as a last resort, sometimes we do have to do surgery for patients with diabetic retinopathy. Okay, well, I know there's lots of options. At least they have treatment options, but still the best, uh, like we tell all the patients, we can let our retina surgeons do as much as they can, but if the sugars still remain out of control, it makes their job very tough and makes it very difficult to get the whole situation under control. So if you have diabetes or if you have any other questions about diabetic retinopathy or the problems it can cause in the eye, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.